he is going to be out for seven to 10 days, then reevaluated. Does not mean that he's necessarily coming right back after that. So Parsons expected to miss the week five game against the Steelers. I would say likely misses week six as well. Demarcus Lawrence out at least four weeks with a mid foot sprain. My understanding is he likely will be placed on injured reserve. So should be without two of their top defenders, Rich, for a couple weeks. Boom! This is what we do, baby. But sources also saying that Michael Parsons is week to week. And with the high ankle sprain, of course, it takes a while for that to heal properly and i get it this is also a contract year for michael parsons by the way on top of that when you look at everything despite the depleted area in pass rushing uh jeremy also reported that the cowboys are not considering hassan reddick trade at this time and it is due to the cost pure sources now in life in anything that you do in life you pay for what you get I get it. The Cowboys want to hold their money really tight. But if they were to plan ahead, remember my video on the sense of urgency. You know, the thing is with the Jones family, they don't have the sense of urgency. Nobody's going to fire Jerry Jones. Nobody's going to fire Stephen Jones, right? So it goes back to this. All offseason, it was, hey, do you pay Dak Prescott? Do you not? Do you pay C.D. Lamb? Do you not? And all of those things, if you were to pay them earlier, you would have had more and more resources, more and more money, more and more to spend, and you will not be as depleted as we are right now. The Cowboys are roughly nearly $30 million in salary cap. You can always manipulate the cap to get with what you want, but unfortunately, by the Cowboys running this thing like a mom and pops, we get these type of things. <laughs> That's just what it is, unfortunately. But can the Cowboys survive? Can they figure out ways to fabricate pressure? Yes and a no. The problem is when you install a new defenses, there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of hesitation. There's a lot of hesitancy on the players because when you look at tape, a lot of guys are where they're supposed to be at, but they are a few steps late. They are thinking. They are processing information. Can the Cowboys survive without Michael Parsons, without D-Law? Well, they're going to find out because the Cowboys, with lack of sense of urgency, if they fail, there's no surprise of, hey, someone's getting fired on the front office. And if they succeed, there's no surprise because that's just what it is. So we're going to roll out Chauncey Ghost. We're going to roll out Tyrus Wheat. And we also going to roll out Carl Lawson. Hopefully he can be a guy on top of that mk shout out to him marshawn Nealon. we're gonna see if these guys can earn the uh the grain of salt out there on the field here's the other thing the fabrications of pressure the only way you can get this done if the cowboys decide to blitz if they decide to be more creative the only problem, like I said, you can see out there on the film that they are still thinking. That's why they are tad step late on a lot of things. Well, in order for this to happen, we're going to have to have my guy Overshawn to step up even more. I'm going to have to have Eric Kendricks to be able to be the nucleus of this defense to make sure that the alignments and assignments are there. On top of that, he himself can't mess up. He got to be perfect. On top of that, you got to understand with Dono, as well as Malik Hooker, them boys going to have to step up in the safety room. In Zim system, the safeties, the safeties are guys that shine the most, and they got to come down and feel. They got to show manipulations. They got to cover better, and they got to do a whole lot of things better. I like what my guy Amani was able to do. For, for a spoonful of reps after they bench Booth. I think that Amani, he's more of a boundary corner. He can play press. So we've seen those type of things out of him. He's going to have to rev up and elevate his game. We all know who Trayvon Diggs is. On top of that, we got to understand and know that Trayvon Diggs, he's still coming off of that ACL thing, and he's a tad bit or a half a step slower than what he used to be. Not saying that he's trash or anything. We like what he's able to exhibit and exhibit but the only thing ladies and gentlemen when we look back at everything the Cowboys lack of sense of urgency maybe they can pick up the phone and call Shaq Lawson maybe get him revved up to play maybe they can pick up the phone and make a trade but we see that they are already talking about due to the cost due to money 
that they don't want to really make these things happen in life. I'm going to say this again. You pay for what you get. And on top of that, in the NFL industry, the longer you wait, the more you pay. That's just how it is. The Cowboys, by them dragging out the contract conversations all offseason, we are at this moment. As they say, it is what it is, but my mindset with this team, all we got to lean on now is hope. And you put some prayers in there because there's really no tangible information or evidence that this team on the defensive side will be improved or even on the offensive side. That's a whole nother conversation because we got a little things that we have to improve there. Check out my last video on motions and stuff like that. Pre-snap motions and things that can help alleviate some things. And on top of that, you know what's the best? Since we're talking about offense, you know what the best Best recipe to help this defense? Put it in the chat. T-O-P. What that means, law? Time of possession. You run the ball, you kill the clock. The other team, the opposing team, will not have time to score on you. And it gives your defense that's still picking up this particular scheme and system time to rest and all of that good stuff because we will be without pass rushers of the Michael Parsons and in as, as well as D-Law. Uh, believe it or not, I believe D-Law is your leading sack on this team. You know, yeah, that's crazy, right? So Cowboy Nation, we're going to have to figure this out. Run the ball, save your defense, and figure out to play complimentary football, Mike McCarthy, because at this time, you're the only hope for this defense until these guys get back. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Run the ball. Zeke, feed him. Feed Zeke. <laughs> I know y'all love Rico and Deuce, but... It's time for Zeke and Hunter to really pound the ball so you can kill the time of possession. That's your only key with this defense. DC for life. Salute.